In the previous videos, we applied some styles to our Riot tags using the main style sheet. And whilst this is perfectly fine, we might find that to maintain the modularity of our Riot components, it's better to bundle component styles into Riot tags. Fragmenting styles might seem strange at first, but building front end components this way means they become truly reusable and much easier to maintain. We'll continue with the code from that previous video and move those styles into the respectable Riot tags. I'll just close this console window for now, which we'll probably not need it in this lesson. So in that style.css, we have this admin user class, and this is clearly very specific to our Riot component. So I'll head over to that group tag file, and I'll just get rid of this script tag to make some space, create a new style tag inside the user group tag, remove this. And now I'll just cut this piece of CSS from style.css and paste it into the user group tag. Save and the new styles show as before. So in this case, a design decision would have been whether to place this in the user tag, seeing as that's technically the tag being styled, or as I just did, add it to the user group tag. Well, whilst either is fine, the user group tag is dictating the class that's being styled here. So it makes more sense to have the CSS here. But again, that's not a rule, simply a logical approach to deciding where to have this. Okay, back to the code. Whilst that worked as expected, let's say we want to add some styling to the h1 heading tag in our user group tag. Create that selector, say indent 15 pixels, bold, and underline. Now, notice when I save this, the main h1 in the index.html gets the same styling. And that's probably not good. We'll rarely want a custom tag to influence global styles like that. So what Riot allows us to do is scope our CSS rules to the current tag instance. To do this, I'll simply add an attribute of scoped to the style tag. And when I save that, the main h1 tag reverts to its previous form. Easy. Now, let's say we want to style this admin group tag as a nice floating card type element. I'll say user group, so targeting that custom tag directly. Display block, add some padding, a border, and finally a bit of shadow to lift it off the page. Save that, and nothing. So what happened here? This is an important concept to keep in mind. A Riot tag scope is contained between its opening and closing tag, so the user group tag is actually not part of the scope. This is easily fixed though by simply creating another style tag, this time without the scoped attribute, and simply moving those styles there. Save, and voila, a neat floating card. And in a case like this, there's no risk of affecting any other HTML, as the user group tag is a unique tag. So a use like this still warrant the use of unscoped styles perfectly. One final point I want to add is the concern that using a styled Riot tag multiple times on a single page will result in the same CSS being duplicated each time. Well, Riot is actually quite clever and moves these style tags into a single style tag in the page's header without duplicating any of it. So not a concern in case you were wondering.